But what would it take to launch a cannonball into orbit? When the famous British physicist Sir Isaac Newton saw the apple fall that some say hit him on the head, it changed the world. You got the apple falling from the tree, and he looks up and sees the moon in orbit around the Earth and judges that not only is the apple falling to Earth, so too is the moon. But could the moon really be falling? Oh! By thinking of a cannon and the trajectory of the ball it shoots, Newton used math to unlock a cosmic mystery. It came in his landmark publication, Principia Mathematica, in 1687. Isaac Newton has a famous drawing, and in it he draws a planet and a little mountain, and there's a little projectile first kicked off the mountain, and it falls down a little bit. You give it more speed, it goes a little farther out. Now say you could just increase the force all you wanted. It could go 50 miles, it could go 100 miles before it fell. By adding more gunpowder, and with just the right angle of fire, a cannonball can be made to go faster and farther. Inevitably, however, gravity wins, pulling the cannonball back down to Earth. The Earth is round and not flat, so Newton realized that if the cannonball is fired at sufficient speed, the cannonball would actually go into orbit. For that to happen, Newton determined, the ball would need to be shot out of the cannon at 17,500 miles an hour. It starts curving around the Earth, and he realized that there must be a speed where it goes completely around the Earth and hits you in the back of the head, never actually hitting Earth's surface. And if you duck, it'll just keep going, and lo and behold, you have an orbit. But why doesn't the moon fall to Earth? The moon also has some sideways motion. So for every little bit that it falls down, it also moves off in this direction. And the sum of all those motions is an orbit around the Earth. Newton also realized that the Earth is in a giant free fall around the sun. With gravity forging the path, our planet rounds the sun like an endless cosmic roller coaster ride. Newton cracked the gravity code, and physicists are still using his ideas to solve all sorts of problems.